hello lolas welcome back to my channel guys if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and if you're not a part of the chatterbox the link is in the description bar or on the about me tab it is a dollar and 99 cents to join you do have to be at least 18. all right so today i am holding baby nori and i just wanted to do a actual an actual holding video um, sometimes it just puts things better into perspective as far as size. Um, when you're actually seeing someone holding the baby versus, you know, like my regular in the bed type, uh, videos. So <laughs> let me explain her little outfit ensemble. Okay. Last night I took her in the room with me and she had on a hat diaper and her hair mitts and it was so cold in there i was like oh gosh she's cold um so i said well let me go and get one of these sleepers i needed to see if she could fit it anyway and then i was like i'm gonna put her on a sleeper and then i was like oh but her little feet are cold so I didn't have no matching socks, so I put her on the little hospital socks. Let me show you guys. And <laughs> so she's definitely not matching. She's got yellow and gray Winnie the Pooh hand mitts. And then this is, of course, a cream and a brown and gray Winnie the Pooh sleeper. And then, like, pink and blue and white socks and a pink and white hat. Like, she is all poor baby. She need a job so she can buy her some clothes. Um, so yeah, so, okay, so when I first got her, I was like, oh, she's, you know, she's bigger than, you know, she was the size that I expected, and she's still the size that I expected, but I don't know why, like, before she was painted, she, she actually looked like she was gonna fit into more stuff that I had, sorry, I'm messing with her eyebrows, because I'm, I'm probably I'm debating. I probably might lay them down. I still haven't figured that out yet. I'll, I worry about that when I root because a lot of times I end up pulling them out and redoing them. I just got into a habit now where I like to see my babies with a little outline and a little bit of, you know, with their eyebrows and eyelashes just so I can, you know, feel like they're kind of somewhat complete um, until I can really get to them. But, yeah, so I guess if she's, like, fully straightened out, like, you see, it, it definitely give her more length. But because I like her scrunched up, to be honest, I really prefer her scrunched, like, her legs, like, balled up. Because babies, they keep their legs balled up a lot. And so I love doing that. And I don't like a sculpt that's, like balled up in a fixed position and I can't straighten them out so that's why I wanted armatures in this one um now I think this baby will do really nice with without armatures um now that I have her and I've seen her and stuff like that because I, I think you know you'll have it'll be she'll be more fluid and she'll fall nicely and jiggly and everything my Nori you can't tell how soft she is by her movement, really. And she is very soft, but, and she has the little jelly belly. But, because I have armatures in both her arms and her legs, and they're full armatures. Full armatures in both, it restricts her movement. So, she only moves if I move her, other than her head will fall back and her middle section will bend, like, if I... See, like, if I get ready to try to pull her up, but her little head will fall back. But her arms and stuff, they're going to stay wherever I put them. So is her legs. Like, her legs are not, I don't care which way I turn her, she's not going to move out of that position unless, you know, I move her. And the other thing I love about her is the way her neck turns. I love the way her, her head turns so nice 
and I mean it's like effortless like there's not you don't have to do a lot of force and it wrinkles up nicely and naturally um all those things is things that I I was in love with this sculpt from the beginning so when it was like in clay form I was like oh I can't wait and then um I know I told this story then it um when she poured her and she did like her first version of this baby she had like a neck armature she like she had a whole body armature like in her and so she could hold her head up she could do all these different things and then she end up you know the next ones that she poured she didn't she took the neck armature out which I liked because I wouldn't have liked the neck armature where the baby head doesn't flop as much um so um but I the pictures were so amazing like all the poses she could do with the armatures and stuff and I just thought oh my gosh that's so cute because with my little babies I really like to pose them and so um because let's be honest when they're really really tiny they're not like straight arm babies now she has a good weight to her she's about three pounds I'm gonna weight her measure her I'm gonna do all that one day soon um but they they're not like totally arm babies necessarily like they're fun to pick up and hold but they're not necessarily arm babies so I like to be able to like do a lot of fun photos and stuff like that but I think because the silicone is so soft I still would have been able to really you know pose her prop her whatever and still have the jiggle but I I like the where she can hold her you know her pose or whatever so just putting it out there because I know for one um Jennifer does not uh like to do armatures in her like this as much because um she was um because she's so tiny and um I I I definitely you know am hoping to keep my Nori in my collection you know forever to be honest um so I know I know y'all giving me that look but seriously um so I she knows that I I take care of my babies at least I hope she does I told her that I, I will but look at look at look at look at this little foot I couldn't quite capture it on um on uh video I mean camera like the coloring of the bottom of her foot um I really like it I've sometimes I play around with different colors with different babies and I'm not sure how it's gonna you know turn out once the matting is done and I was playing with this color on her foot and feet and I I they actually did okay after matting so that was good um because matting can make your babies lighter it can make them glow like it can highlight a certain color or it could just you know blend it more it you know or it could just like barely change it at all and it's funny because there's no real maybe at least I haven't figured out there's no way to really gauge it and I've talked to some people that's been painting forever and they said the same thing like there's no real way to really gauge it um you kind of get an idea sometime um but it surprises me every time because it's like oh it didn't take away as much you know of her color like with with this one it didn't take away as much of her color um as it did with like some of the others I am like her eyelashes are too long like it's, it's irritate me but anyway I need to I mean like there's a few eyelashes too long I need to trim that I need to cut her hair like it's uh, her eyebrows is like it's still she's still a work in progress guys but yeah look at her she's so stubborn you're so stubborn okay so i put her in my hand so as you can see like her now her head she has a good size hair her head is like which is normally the case with preemies this hat is almost too small to be honest um 
her head is a good size, which is almost the case. The head is usually pretty big on the preemies. Like their head is really like their newborn size and the body got to catch up usually. Um, I feel like her head is like the perfect size. It's and it gives her weight. Um, I love I love feeling the armatures in her. It feels like she has bones, so I like that. I put hand mitts on her, but her hands are one one is full balled up, so one is a fist, and then one is like an open fist. If that makes sense, let me see. So all the fingers are like separate. And even on the fist, it looks like her, they look separate. So those are hands, like all her fingers are like separate on this one. Um, so I ordered her some stuff to come from um, the, uh, some preemie stuff. Some like, just some booties and like some mitts and hats. Just because, like, I don't have a whole lot of stuff for her. So, I, I ordered, like, a few of those so she could at least be cute with diapers and stuff like that. I, ordered, I even ordered some little leg warmers. I don't know if they're going to fit. Um, so, real preemie babies, they struggle holding their body temperature. So, people usually keep them, they usually keep them really warm you know, warmly dressed and stuff like that. So I thought, oh, she'll be covered up. It'll be fine. Um, I remember that was the thing with my grandbaby. They kept wanting her to hold her temperature in order for her to go to the next level in the NICU. Um, so yeah, so here's her little tummy. Wait, let me see. Y'all can see it. So I always forget how far her, her where her softness is like further down and soft. I'm not squishing it hard. Um, yeah, so I am going to go put her in the bed thing. Once I put her in the bed, you guys could be able to see her um, more. But the, 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 Thing is, okay, I'm gonna take it off so you guys can see it. The thing is, is when she gets in that, when she gets in that little boppy and on the pillow, and I have the cameras like really close to her, she looks way bigger. She looks way bigger than than what she is. I mean, hell, I ain't gonna lie. She feels bigger to me when she's in that thing. All right, there we go. So when you see, let's see, cause this, I love that it snaps like completely off of her. And I am going to put her back in this, I'm sure. So it's a lot of phases that goes on with these babies when, when you're working on them. Like with the silicone, like, you know, there's a lot of phases of where she has to, I have to, you know, make sure I, get her you know a good and cleaned up good and everything and so whoa she whoa she whoa so she like when you hold her like that part like that Susie she feels it feels real but yeah and she's she's pretty much done as far as painting wise go and matting part go I don't really have I don't think I have to put her back on the table which is good um she just might need another like bath because I, I didn't clean in her ears good so she still has a little bit of residue in her ears because I didn't wash that ear good but other than that so I'll just wait though now until she gets her hair rooted because then that would be another rinse. And I try to avoid like over bathing them, but I do like for them to, to you know, 
be all good to go look at. <laughs> so I don't know what I could put next to her. This is a bottle. <laughs> so like a little four ounce bottle is almost her whole torso size. Um, a lot of y'all got these bottles. So y'all know like it is like so yeah. But like I was saying, like you you know, she's longer. If you straighten her out. But I just like. I love that. You know. Her little, her little knees are so cute to me. Um, but yeah. And I one of the other Nori mommies. Reached out to me. And she hand makes her babies. All kinds of cute stuff. And that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. This, this, this is going to be my little. Let me sneak you in the bag, baby. You go on with me, baby. This is a travel baby. So those that like to take their babies to work or, you know, have a baby when you're going on a road trip and not make it like it's such a big to do. She's one that you could like ease into. Look at that. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Oh my kidney, kidney, kidney. Yeah, so I I just feel like paint and silicone. Let me take this out of my mouth. Sorry. Paint and silicone can be so tricky, but I feel like in the end, it it's very rewarding. There's no waiting and putting beads and stuff in them in the end. Once you get through and you finish the matting, the only thing left to do to complete the baby is the rooting, but. You can actually just pick the baby up and start playing with it. It's, not, you know, not another step. So, let's show you. Just trying to show you her mouth and stuff. I'll, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, which is Miss Rindy underscore Smith, um, you'll see more pictures of her there. And also on my Facebook page, I've been posting, like, a lot of pictures there. Um... I may start like including a few of them at the end of the clips here because I know some of you guys are only on YouTube. So I'll try because I feel like in video you kind of can't really see, see. But, and I like the way her mouth came out. It turned out really good. She's a sweet baby. So anyway, that is it. I'm going to go so see like if she had she didn't have these armatures when I pull her like this or whatever her legs will like naturally like scrunch up and up but because she has armatures I have to kind of pose her so there's the pros and the cons to the armatures I I think if I paint another one I'll do it without the armatures maybe just to have the the two but I'm really happy that I got the armatures with her I'm not gonna lie I am you know but I just wanted to explain that because I you know I don't want people to think oh this baby is she's she's too stiff for me or you know it's it's on purpose but she's as you can see like she wrinkles nicely she's very soft all right, see you guys later. And hopefully this gave you an idea of how t she is. Like, my hand almost covers her up. Um, 